More than a year ago, a news website by the name of ProPublica published stories that it claims are based on, quote, a vast trove of internal revenue data on the tax returns of thousands of the nation's West wealthiest people covering more than 15 years, end of quote. Since then, ProPublica has continued to publish articles that appeared to use data leaked or hacked from the IRS. Despite questions from Congress and immediate expressions of concern from the Treasury Department, as well as the IRS, we don't know any more today than we did a year ago. Even though these apparent leaks of confidential taxpayer information appear to target the wealthy, not just the wealthy, but all taxpayers and anyone who cares about the effective tax administration should be very concerned. The fact is, until we get answers, we don't know if anyone's tax return or other information submitted to the IRS is actually secure. At the end of the 2022 filing system, more than 145 million individual income tax returns were filed with the IRS. Right now, we don't know if there is a current vulnerability to the IRS systems that makes this personal information accessible within the IRS or to bad actors outside of the IRS. We do not know if a foreign nation with hostile intentions is responsible for a leak or hack of taxpayer information or the full scope of the IRS information that may be involved. Just because ProPublica has found it politically useful to publicly disclose your private taxpayer information doesn't mean that your tax information hasn't been compromised. As I said earlier, in June of 2021, concern was immediately expressed in the Congress and the Treasury Department. Almost that very day, Congressman Reddick appeared before the Finance Committee. In fact, it was that very day that the first story was published. Commissioner Reddick said, and I quote, I think the trust and the confidence in the Internal Revenue Service is sort of the bedrock of asking people and requiring people to provide financial information. And we have, as I said, turned it over to the appropriator, appropriate investigators, external and internal, end of quote. Attorney General Garland was quoted as saying, quote, this is an extremely serious matter. People are entitled, obviously, to great privacy with respect to their tax returns, end of quote. With this level of concern expressed so quick, quickly, and now a year ago, you would expect action to have been taken quickly. If you expected that, you would be wrong. Despite several letters sent by this senator and other members of Congress, we don't know any more today about what appeared and happened than we did last year on June the 8th when this situation began. Now testifying before the House Ways and Means Committee, Secretary Yellen said, quote, I'm as anxious as you are to find out what happened, end of quote. As a strong proponent of congressional oversight as I am, and that's congressional oversight of the executive branch, I've always been frustrated when the executive refuses to share relative information 
that we need in Congress and are entitled to under the Constitution to have. Secretary Yellen's statements suggest a more disturbing possibility where the executive branch completely lacks the sought after information. Now, consider how shocking it is if the Secretary of Treasury actually has no insight or any knowledge into a possible massive leak or hack of taxpayers' information that occurred under her watch. In order to determine if any action has been taken, I, along with other Republican members of the Judiciary Committee, wrote to Attorney General Garland and FBI Director Ray on June 24th of this year to ask what the status of any investigation was, and that's the second time we're trying to get this information. I know the Department of Justice is capable of taking action quickly when the Department of Justice wants to. I've written to the Attorney General several times about the memo that he issued in response to a letter from the National School Board Association. The school board letter compared parents to domestic terrorists. It took the Department of Justice only five days, which included a weekend, to inject federal law enforcement into local debates with concerned parents. Clearly, the Attorney General is capable of taking action very quickly, and, but that seems to only be when an administrative priority is of concern. I hope the Biden administration and the Garland Department of Justice would be as concerned about the protection of confidential taxpayer information as they are about monitoring concerned parents testifying before a school board. If the Department of Justice and FBI want to show that they take the confidentiality of taxpayer information seriously, they can start by fully and completely responding to my letter of June 24th, which hasn't yet been responded to. More than a full year with a complete files, filing season is too much time to have gone by without any information on this leaking of taxpayer information provided to any extent. Democrats constantly spoke of the need for fairness in any tax system as they push through partisan tax and spending bills. Yet we've heard barely a peep out of our Democrat colleagues on what may be the largest unauthorized disclosure of tax information in history. While we continue to wait for answers, we've learned another massive breach of taxpayer information. On the first Friday of September, we learned the IRS mistakenly published on its website private information from about 120,000 taxpayers. According to Politico, the di disclosure consisted of, quote, details from business tax returns filed by tax-exempt organizations and retire retirement accounts, including people's names, business contact information, <clears throat> and income income produced by certain investments, end of quote. Clearly, the ability of the IRS to safeguard taxpayer information is still an ongoing issue. This new revelation should sound, should light a very big fire underneath the FBI to get at the bottom of the ProPublica leak or hack. Attorney General Garland, and FBI Director Ray must fully respond to my letter and help all of us really understand if our tax system is safe and secure.